Hi you guys, so today we're making this journal cover. It's a fabric journal cover. It's kind of scrappy. It is kind of a combo between us doing a slow stitch journal cover with fabric and using my sewing machine. So what I did basically is I stitched these little squares together with zigzags. Like I just had some scraps of fabric. And then after that, then I did some stitching like hand stitching and I hand stitched on different elements like little patches and lace and ribbon and trim and all these different things and a yo-yo right here. And then what I did was I, um, I had a piece of batting and then I put the fabric down and then I did all my hand stitching and different things on top of it. And I wanted to make it for the spooky season. Um, so that I could have a journal either to give away or to use, whatever I decided to do with it. And then what I did was on the back side of it, so I had the batting and then I had the fabric on that side. And then I just put a piece of fabric on this back side just so that you don't see the batting. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this envelope and I'm using it it's slightly larger than an envelope that I would normally use this one I think is 13 inches by almost by 10 inches and I'm going to go ahead and glue this shut so this is going to be my base of my journal cover and I saw something similar to this um, so the inspiration for this journal came from Gail Agustinelli from her channel. She made something similar to this, but she made a beautiful slow stitch one. She did all slow stitch and she did it, um, gosh, it took her months, she said. So I was like, well, I don't know if I want to take months to do it, but I'll, <laughs> I'll do like a little quick and dirty version. And I've just been working on it as I have time, you know, to stitch all the little elements on it. I'm going to go ahead and take my envelope, which I just glued shut, and then I'm gonna cover it with this fabric. And so I just cut this fabric larger so that I could wrap it around this envelope. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Trim the edges. just like this. And then I'm going to glue my fabric around here. And I'm using Fabri-Tac, which this is Fabri-Tac, but you can use this um, Tombow Mono liquid glue or whatever glue that you like to um, glue your fabric with because there's many kinds of glues. So this piece that we're making now is going to be the inside of our journal and we're going to glue this little outer piece to this. So you'll see the process. But I thought, oh, I should film this so you guys can see how I made it, right? I mean, it's kind of cool. And you might want to make one. And you might not want to do <laughs> the complete slow stitch process and you might want to just do a little quick and dirty version like me. <laughs> I don't know though. I kind of wanted the look without, you know, spending lots of hours doing it. <laughs> I just did, I think it took me just a couple of nights, you know, while we're watching TV, I worked on it. I'm just going to fold these little corners under, just like that. And the nice thing about this glue is that you can have a few minutes to move it around. Put a little bit more glue under here. I'm 
I like how this is coming out. Okay. Just gonna put a little bit more glue under here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, so it is directional, so we want the bats up, right side up, okay. All right, so the next thing that I wanna do is I want to glue this. Just make sure that we're, yes, going the right direction. <laughs> Okay, and get our little strings out of the way. And this is actually from Scrap Cabin. And these are so much fun, right? To put on the journals, a seam binding that they dye, and then they crinkle it all up. And it's so much fun. And I got it from Scrap Cabin on Etsy. I believe she has an Etsy store. All right, so what we wanna do is get it kind of centered. I think what I might do is just glue these down just a little bit. Just put a little bit of glue right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue all over this. I don't think I'm gonna be sewing it anymore, so I wanna make sure and get lots of glue on this. And we have a few minutes to adjust it. I think I like that. And we want to wait until this dries completely before we fold it. So any of the edges that I didn't quite get enough glue on, I can just go back in and make sure I've got a lot of glue because I'm not going to be stitching this anymore. I already did so many layers of stitches around it, so I thought, well, I'll just glue this part on. Let's see, that looks good. Get a little bit of glue down here. So now you can put some uh, books or something on this, weigh it down, make sure it, um, and that it adheres to the fabric really well. Alrighty, oh my gosh, I can't wait. So once this is dry, I'll go ahead and fold it and then I'll, I'll be able to make a signature and put it inside. And then you'll see me um, working in it. Maybe I'll film the signature part if you want me to, you let me know. But I love how it turned out, it's so cute. Look at that, oh my gosh. You have to try it. It's super fun. See you next time. Bye.